March 16, 1968, the United States Army's Charlie Company, under the command of Lieutenant William Cauley, enters the South Vietnamese village of Soon Mai, commonly referred to as Pinkville. Tired, anxious, and demoralized, the young soldiers prepare for what could be a heavy firefight against Viet Cong inhabitants. The orders are simple. Wipe out the enemy, burn houses, kill livestock, and destroy supplies. After reaching the village in the early hours of March 16th, Charlie Company encountered not enemy troops, but Vietnamese civilians. Who is my enemy? A young soldier asked his commanding officer. They're all VC. Now go and get them, Captain Ernest Medina replied. What happened next would later become known as the most shocking episode of the Vietnam War. The civilians, many of them women, children, and infants, were rounded up and murdered in cold blood. Women and children were raped and their bodies mutilated. In total, between 347 and 504 unarmed Vietnamese villagers were shot and killed. 18 months later, 32-year-old freelance journalist Seymour Hirsch received a tip describing the premeditated murder of 111 human beings in Vietnam. With this information, the Fund for Investigative Journalism was born. Hirsch received two payments to fund his travels and investigations. In a series of painstaking investigations, Hirsch tracked down where the military was secretly housing Lieutenant Colley and obtained an exclusive five-hour interview at Fort Benning in Georgia. He finally had his story. On November 12, 1969, Hirsch broke the first in a series of three articles about the massacre and its subsequent cover-up. But, with little to no national notoriety and such damning claims against the military, no mainstream media organizations published his piece. Hirsch was forced to wire his story through the undistinguished Dispatch News Service. Hirsch's reporting directly caused widespread national concern, which prompted members of the public to condemn the war in Vietnam. When news of the massacre reached the states, many in the U.S. peace movement insisted troops be withdrawn from Vietnam. Seymour Hirsch's piece, as well as recorded interviews with members of Charlie Company by mainstream media sources like CBS, forced the military's hand. In 1970, Despite the abundance of charges and evidence, Lieutenant William Cauley was the only officer charged with the crime. That same year, Hirsch won the Pulitzer Prize for his exclusive disclosure of the Vietnam War tragedy at the hamlet of My Lai. Investigative journalism works best when independent journalists like Hirsch are able to spend time researching, traveling, and interviewing first-person sources. Without the proper funds, not only is the profession of journalism negatively affected, but the world is at a disadvantage. The most important role proper journalism performs is that of a watchdog, working on behalf of the people by identifying problems and bringing them into focus. Without the time and funding for investigating real societal problems, the entire profession of journalism would fall by the wayside. Without investigative journalism, the world would never have known about Spotlight, or the Panama Papers, or the graphic massacre in My Lai.